Kari, a lot of different names today. I never heard all these names. I want the white people name. Kari, first time caller out of Ohio. Welcome to the show. You said Kari, the white people name. <laughs> Who name? I said I want the name back. I want John and James and and oh, oh. Robert. Okay. Welcome to the show, Kari. Thanks for having me. That's Kyrie. Kyrie. <laughs> Is that an African, is that a black person name? Uh, I mean, I guess you could say so. Who named you that? My mom did. Oh, no wonder. You want to prove? Huh? You want to prove? No, I like it. It's different. How can I help you, sir? I like it. Tell you the truth, I didn't like it at first, but (laughs) it it, it grew on me and uh, it, it uh, it held some weight. Why didn't you like it at first? Because actually the way it's spelled is why I didn't like it at first. Yeah. But K-Y-R-I-E. Given as, given as unique as it is and as, as unique as I've turned out, you know, sometimes you got to take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah. Uh, what did your father say about that name? Father died when I was three, so. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, man. No, nah, it ain't no biggie. Yeah, it is. When you lose your father, it is. It is a biggie. Yeah. I mean, it definitely, uh, definitely were some times that I wish that I had a man there to show me what to do. Not that's right. Give, taking taking any credit from my mom, but there's some things that she just can't show a man how to do. Also, you can't get uh, your soul completed with your mother. It only has to be. It has to be completed by by loving your father. Uh, to to a degree, I, I I I agree with you on that, and it's because women don't understand the, the animosity that a man has to have. You know what I mean? Well, it's not, and it's, not a, and it's not that a man should be a monster, but a man should be able to be a monster. You know? Well, he doesn't have to be a monster. He just need to be a perfect love, because men represent God on earth. They are sons of God. And they have yeah. to rep. And God is love, and the love of God has to come through them, and that's I what agree, that, I, that's what agree, raises the women and children. Faith without without works is dead, right? So what now? The so faith without works is dead, right? Yes. So if somebody came in here and wanted to take my child's life, faith without works is dead. Are you God married? Give me the strength I need, but I'd have to use it. Are you married? I'm not. I'm headed down that road. You have how many children? You have. I got one in a step. You so is the woman? Other uh, the woman living with you too? No, we uh we did live together before. We were young when we met. You know, we both uh were experiencing it. I, the way I call I, I I define it. I say we both, and I think everybody goes through this growing into your adulthood. You expose everything for the first time, you know. So if you got too much on your plate, things unravel. Yeah. So this woman that you're involved in now, with now, you're going to marry her? Yeah. And she has one baby for you and then one for someone else? She does. Don't do it, Kyrie. You know, I thought about it. Kyrie, don't do it. You're going to catch hell. I thought about it. But you know, I, I'm uh, I'm to the point where it's like you said, it's love. No, that's it's not love. love. When, when uh, when when the baby for someone else was first born, yeah, you'd hate to hear my thoughts on that story. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, as, as I got to see him, and I gave the father a chance to be a part of the child's life. Father wanted nothing to do with him. Why and not? I gave him plenty of time and plenty of time. But maybe the mother didn't give him a around. chance. The mother may not have given him a chance. Yeah. She kind she did, because we both discussed it. But, See, but the thing is, he's a snake, and he didn't want the kid if it didn't come with her. If it didn't come with her? Who told you that? Well, the thing is, me and her, we were dating beforehand, and as I said, as I said, us being exposed to things the first time around as adults, getting out on our own, you know, she messed up, I messed up. We both had our shared dues. 
And uh, did he cheat on you? He cheated. He cheated on you. <laughs> huh? He cheated on you. Yeah, but I started it. So I mean, I what do you mean you started around. it? Huh? What do you mean you started it? I cheated first. So you cheated, then she went out and cheated. Well, she didn't just go out and cheat it, but she held that resent for me, and that opened, that gave birth to opportunity for another man to weasel his way in. Which even then, it took it took years for 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 that to go down. But now, Kyrie, I was twenty four. I was I was twenty four when I met her. I'm thirty two now. Kyrie. You so imagine how much more I've been through. Yeah, I can imagine. But listen to me, man. Do what you want, of course. But listen to me. Right. So you and this woman have sex before marriage. You have a baby with her before marriage. She has a baby with someone else before marriage. You cheated with someone else before marriage. Um, uh, you guys are in hell right now. Why would you want to marry in hell and think that this is going to work? It's not going to work, well, man. Sex, sex before marriage is not a sin that, that can't be repented for. Uh, right, but it's one that is not going to work. The only way this will work is that you raise your kid, don't you get involved with another woman, be there for your kid, and when the kid become up old, maybe a young adult, they move away, you may want to consider to get married then, but you need to be there for your kid. You bring this mess in between your I'm kid. There, I'm there for my kid 100%. But don't marry it. You and this woman mm -hmm. not going to work. You guys, she's never, ever, mama mia, ever going to trust you again. It's not going to work. You would have to. You would have this, this story. I mean, I know why you would feel that way, and I know why anybody would feel that way, but you would have to see this story. So it's a little bit different. Key, I mean, Ky, uh, <laughs> okay. Kyrie, I, I, it's not going to work, buddy. I, it's not going to work. It's, why don't you date her then if you think it has a chance? Date her for seven years with no well, look, sex. Here's the thing. We didn't, just, we didn't just meet back up and say, hey, we're getting married. No, we've been dating. We've been. Are you we, still? We, 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 we've. Uh, Talked about everything, open and honest. You know what I'm saying? Are and you having agreed. sex with her? Huh? You still having sex with her? Ah, uh, you got me there. <laughs> yeah. But look, Kyrie, but look, but it's not thing, gonna though, work. Here's the thing, though. She, but here's the thing, though. She, she's the only woman that I'm seeing, and she's the only woman I want to be with. This is why we're talking. We're both talking about marriage. Then do it the right way, then. Planning. Huh? Do it the right way. Don't marry her now. Just date her with no sex for seven years. Raise your kid, and let, and then don't get in the way of that the father of the other child coming around because that child needs his or her father like your child needs you. Well, I don't think it's necess necessarily the father they need. I think it's, I think it's the child needs a strong role model man. No, because. That's not true. My father, my father actually, listen to this. Now, I was adopted, and I actually met my father when I was 22 years old, and I don't need that. Trust me. I thought you said your father died when you were three. Trust me. I, I wouldn't have been. Uh, I Kyrie, wouldn't have been, you said your father uh, died when you were three years old. How did you meet him at 23? No, no, no. I said I was adopted. So I met my biological father at 22. Oh, so your adopted father died when you were three? Yeah. Oh, I see. Listen, uh, don't judge your real father like that. Uh, he leaves me no choice, man. He leaves, and it's not judging him. Yes, really, you are. It's, uh, it's really not, I, I wouldn't even call it judgment. It's, it's, I, I, gave him, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I met him. But and you didn't, it's his lifestyle that I just don't agree with. He's a serious drunk, and that's what he do. And why do you think? Side, on that, and that's that's just one amongst other things. Why do you think he's a drunk? Because I know him. As a matter of fact, but why do you I think, get it from him? But why do you think he is drinking? Huh? Why is he drinking? Because he's misguided. It's the way it's the way he was raised, and you know. And are you drunk too? You said. Huh? You you drink too? 
Yeah, I do. And actually, I'm uh, working on it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to put it down. Are you drunk? Huh? Are you a drunk? I just came out of real severe stage of that, but I still uh, I still find myself picking up a can here and there. Uh, Kyrie, you got to forgive your father so that God can forgive you, and you would not take in, you would not be drinking anymore. You have perfect peace, but as long as you have the judgment on your father, realize and not realize that he can't help it. He has issues he's running to. You are going to be the same, and then your kid going to be the same. And well, now nah, hold on, but you got to consider this. It's too, it's too late to play father. I'm 32. It's too late to play father for who? For me. Now, now you know the chips have fallen. Now I got a heavenly father I look up to. Who? Uh, what do you mean it's too late to play father? I'm 32 years old. It's too late for me to start looking up to another man. He's not another man. He's your father, and you don't need to look not up at, to not him. At this point. Listen, listen. You don't need to look up to him. You need to forgive him so God can forgive you. And he he is forgiven. I I hold nothing against the man. I hold nothing against him. But the thing is, I'm at a point now where I make my own decisions. Have you forgiven him? Have you told him you forgive him? Oh, yeah. And what do you say? Absolutely. What do you say? When I met him, we didn't have a problem at all. It's just his lifestyle. I don't agree with it. And I'd rather not. It's hard enough for me to fight it on my own. But listen, you don't have and to hang on top out. With, of that, and on top of that, I, 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 I'm gonna tell you the truth. I really feel it's a slap to my mom's face, you know, because she stepped up and she did what she had to do. They gave me up when they were kids. I mean, when they were when when I was a baby, it was three of us. They gave us all up. We got adopted, and you know they were strung out on crack and living it up and doing their thing and blah blah blah. You know, the chips fell. That's what it is. But my mom, she's the one to wipe my snotty nose, and she's the one that bought all my food and my clothes and made sure I got the track practice on time and all that. So how fair is it to her after all the time and energy she put into me to turn around and call somebody else my parents? Listen, um, smoke on it. Um, but you need to, I recommend you not get married to that woman. You just bring more trouble up on yourself. I'm not, if you have to date her, date, but no sex. So you can see who she really is. She's never going to trust you again. And you really never going to trust her once you really get with her. Uh, well, I, that's going to be, see, now that's one of the things that we talked about is trust is, is uh, it's gone now trust right now between us is real thin. Yeah. We, we had to talk, and we said, if we're going to do this, we can't do it without trust. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to let bygones be bygones on that one. Well. And we're going to have to accept the fact that we've been around enough and exposed to things the third or fourth time around. And, and, and this, learn from things, and we got to accept the fact that we're growing, and we want better. And we're both on the same page with that. And that, and her, and the child that she has for another man would never uh-huh. accept you as his is it a boy or a girl? He's a boy. He would never accept you as his father. Nah, his opinion to me, I, I, I think he will. No, he won't. I think he will. Children he, do he, not he accept. Impressed. Children do not accept step parents. The soul of boys and girls will not accept the soul of a step parent. Only their natural father. The only thing that works in life is the real thing. It ain't nothing like the real thing. So uh, you may be able to provide, but he will never accept you as his father. And as he get older, you're going to see him acting out because he's going to be yearning. He will yearn for his real father. He need to return to his real father, not a stepfather. It's not going to work. The real father won't accept him. But if you get... already, when, when this child was born, his real father already had had a child that was five years old that he had only spent the night with once. But that's not your thing. In five I, years. Listen. The real, the real father, I've tried to return him back to his real father. And when I'm at the case now where i got to make decisions for my life and how I move forward. But, so now... I know, but you need gave, to have that woman... I gave home me a chance. It's not you that's the problem. It's the mother that's the problem. 
the father no, I mean, it's a relationship she, the bad it, relationship it's not her is is neither of us that's a problem it's just we weren't ready no we, we were what young. i'm saying is that it. what i'm saying is that you don't know the real deal between this other man and the woman you're with and the reason he won't come around for his child you don't know the real deal no, I don't. I yeah. don't. But so child, don't judge this man because you don't know the real deal. And this woman not going to tell you the truth about the real deal. Well, let me tell you what the, what the deal I hope it is. I'll tell you the deal that I hope it is. is I hope that she's exercising respect for me. And no. she's already told him. She showed me the text and said, hey, he said, you know, this, this, and that. She showed me the text. But you didn't hear so, what she man, said. He had a choice, and whether he responded back, she claims no. I don't know that I believe that. All right, but, but let me still, tell you, uh, Kyrie, I, I'm glad you called, but you need to think about what you're doing, man. You're walking right into some more hell, and it's going to be hell for the rest of your life. You got to start doing it right and not have excuses from Satan. All you're doing is listening to excuses from Satan. He give you all the reason to continue in hell. He is a lie. You got to doubt every thought. Don't believe anything that you're thinking about this situation. It's all lies. But call me again. I really, mama me, appreciate your call. Such a sad way to live. Satan is setting him up, setting her up and the kids, folks.